All right, here for match four. So, kind of just like looking at the open hands. Um, I believe I keep this because, uh, yeah, I was talking about this in the previous uh, previous match, but I'm greedy by nature, <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, so I keep this. Yeah, so in general, uh, I think I keep way more hands than other people. I just I just hate mulliganing, um, and uh, so I built I build decks a lot of decks and ways to uh, help with that. Yeah, so I usually I know compared to most people, I think I run higher land counts and I run a bunch of cycling lands usually. Yeah, um, I was talking about this last time. But yeah, that's kind of how I uh, kind of how I adjust for my greedy habits. I think I get punished, probably deservingly so. But you know, I can hit Faithless Looting, hit Aim the Land Drops, um, so I was on the draw, so it's like two two cards, each of which is like around, um, probably around like, uh, it's better than, it's like around 40% 40 chance to hit a land drop, and then like, over two turns, it's like you're more than 50% chance likely to hit a land drop. So, you know, is that is that worth it? Maybe not, but I usually like to gamble on that. Oh, and I hit it, because... Uh, yeah, um, yeah, so yeah, so basically, uh, yeah, I guess we're lucky, and, uh, you can actually go to the play of Thrill, Thrill Possibility, Thidalon, Mana Morphos it back, also gets green mana, also gets Kermit's Favor, and just kind of start going off. So this is actually a good draw. Opponent's on Bully. Oh, opponent also Mulligan pretty low, I think. Okay, so this is kind of like where this deck, oh, also hit a land. It's kind of just like everything's working together. So, oh yeah, with the land, I can play the camera's favorite first. Oh my god. Yeah, this deck is sick. Okay, I think I just went too deep, and I didn't save enough mana to infinite combo this turn. Um, or maybe I couldn't. Yeah, maybe it was never... Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, I guess it was just never possible. Because I can't, I need to have hit another Metamorphose. Okay, yeah, yeah, and here I think I was debating whether or not I wanted to, like, play Cathartic Reunion, hit double Metamorphose, and go off this turn. I think I just chicken out and just do stuff. Oh, no, no, I do go for that play. Oh, yeah, yes. Okay, so I'm playing, I'm playing Cathartic Reunion to hit double Metamorphose, so I can go off this exact turn. Oh, yeah, like, why wouldn't I go? Why wouldn't I try that? Um, but I miss, because hitting double metamorphosis is going to be hard. But, uh, yeah, so I combo off next turn. Easy combo off. Oh. Yeah, he plays Electricery. Not a not an issue. Um, yeah, so I have one mana left over to start the combo. So you need this one mana. And, um, you know, if this Gremlin survived, I would have been able to, uh... If I damage him with a thermo, because that would be un that would untap as well. Um, but yeah, my opponent's tapped out, uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna kill him with, with attackers. I'm not gonna go through this. So let's see if I can pause this. Um, all right, it's just gonna do this thing. What happens if I just click exit? It's gonna blow up. I'm just gonna click it. Okay. <sighs> okay. It's okay. All right. Um, game two. So, ooh, great hand, I think. This hand is missing card draw, um, but it has the chance to kind of just go crazy nuts because it has double Kermit's favor. Oh yeah, I remember, this is a bad draw. I just played some creatures, setting up double Kermit's favor. Um, but yeah, I just don't hit any of my land, um, or I hit very few of my card draw, and oh yeah, I get too many creatures killed, so I already lost two. I oh yeah 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 that was that was good. So oh my god, so I went I clicked fast forward twice. So um, sorry. So what happened was that um, so I attacked with Nettle Sentinel first to try to bait out a removal spell, which he did. He did have another lightning bolt, so he killed that. 
Um, so then, uh, so basically what I want to do, I, I want to play Karamech's favor on my own Nettle Sentinel, but I was, I suspect that he had a Lightning Bolt. He did have a Lightning Bolt, so I attacked first, I baited it out, and then I still needed to chance something to cycle Karamech's favor, so I put it on my opponent's creature. So um, that's kind of what happened there, and then he played Monarch. And here I'm kind of screwed. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I just concede, yeah. Um, I mean, there's a chance that, like, I don't die next turn and, like, I chain a bunch of stuff. But I didn't... It's a league. <laughs> if, it, if it was a challenge, maybe I would have tried that, but it's a league. So I just I just threw in the towel right here. Um, yeah. All right. Game three. Okay. Ooh, great draw. Great hand. Um, yeah, I wonder what I do here. I think... Hmm. So in hindsight, what would I do? So... Okay. I actually know what I, I, I want to do. So, I want to make sure this Fire Wild Border Post gets value from Eidolon. Oh yeah, it's obvious. It's obvious, yeah. Faithless Looting, turn one, for sure. So I definitely, hopefully I do that. Okay, yes, I do that. Um, yeah, so then I get value with the board post. Yep, so kind of just nothing, nothing too special here. Just playing out some creatures. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I, I should probably go over that spot right there. So, um... It didn't end up being that complex. I played looting and then played a thermo. Um, yeah, I think I didn't. I didn't want to land the second blister spit gremlin in case he had more electricery. So I think you're you're kind of vulnerable to grem to electricery, kind of no matter what. Um, there's some stuff you can do where it's like like so basically the right timing for them to cast electricery is in response to your uh, sprout swarm trigger. So um, basically, they make you lose your Blister Spirit Gremlin. It's possible that you can come off entirely without Blister Spirit Gremlins, just like all Nettle Sentinels and Thermos, so you're not vulnerable to Electricity at all. Oh yeah, by the way, I should talk about that. So, um, yes, so I'm running zero pump uh, enchantment effects. And this is because I think I can beat Electricity... Oh, so there's two reasons. So first is that I think I can beat Electricity straight up without it. Um, and also, second is that I think I need to dedicate so many cyber slots to Delver. So, so yeah. Um, so that's why I don't run Spider Silk Armor. But, um, yeah. Looks like opponent is uh, having a bunch of Hawks. So, okay. I turn again. Oh. Yeah, I just, um, I just have a full combo. Yeah, so just, just easy turn for combo. This is this is even a hard one. Um, yeah, I just had it all. Yeah, so I just started comboing in response, and I think my opponent conceded, thankfully. Yeah, so thanks for that. I mean, I think the expectation is that the opponent never concedes, uh, which I think is fair, because, well, you know, hopefully I don't do, like, very annoying things like do a bunch of triggers and stuff, but, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, just an easy turn four combo. So, all right, that's match four. 